It has some fetch, some removal, populate of sorts. Yeah, this is a pretty good hand. Ramp, ramp de damp, damp, ramp. F8, so I can talk to my bros. Hey, ghost! <laughs> Doesn't help that Kalia got to go first. It does not help at all. Let's see, what do we want to grab? We want to grab something that makes white. We've got blue, we've got double green. Let's get blue white. Let's get a hollowed fountain. New. Okay. Tribal Wrath. Is that a tribe? Shit. I've been playing it wrong. Tribal Wrath. Creature type. Wrath. It works. Checks out. We need to add that one to the gatherer. Uh, someone should be uh, emailing uh, Wizards of the Coast right now, being like, Hey, do you know you have this listed wrong? Uh, it's Tribal Wrath, by the way. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, Shizzo. More like Shizit. Ha <laughs> ha! High five, Gear Bear. All right, now we need something to make tokens because we've got all this uh, populate, el populato momento. So, Harseek. Let's grab something else that makes white. Let's grab a uh, uh, temple garden. No, yeah, yeah, temple garden. Yeah. No. Yeah, temple garden. Okay. No. I think uh, I could supply and search for, um, what the hell is the name of that card? Splitting Image. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Usually if you're playing with a indestructible or pseudo indestructible commander, you're playing a lot of Wraths. Avacyn, looking at you, bitch. You know what? I don't even have my lights on because it was so bright when I started. Let's turn those on so that you guys can see my beautiful face. Beautiful. Damn. Look at that. Handsome as shit. Kind of smells like shit too. What? Uh, No one's dropped any rocks yet. So let's go ahead and... Secure Tribe Builder. Maybe we won't uh, tap out an F8 or anything like that. Because we can Sundering Growth any boots he might have. Enjoy your sandwich. I hope it is delicious and satisfying. Utterly fulfilling. All of your needs and desires. Sandwich. Brought to you by the makers of Awesome. Each player should that player controls more lands than each other player goes to him or her. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Rivalry. Sibling rivalry. Maybe Kalia will drop a Avacyn that I can clone. Or something. I'm just saying. And then it gets quiet. Oh, so quiet and lonely. He didn't 
What? Okay. Um, we've got double white, we've got trips green, double blue. Let's grab another white for the uh, Hour of Reckoning that we will get eventually, maybe someday. Over a rainbow. And, yeah, Rivalry will definitely be dealing a lot of damage to me this game. Damn you, sibling rivalry. Um, undo. Let's tap right. Yeah. Let's demand. Cast demand, right? Let me make sure. Demand, okay. Cast demand. And I think we'll grab just splitting image. Ooh, that profit of Krufix, though. Now let's grab splitting image. I think that's the right thing to grab. Ooh, wrist, though. No, we need splitting image. Bam. And then let's go ahead and get out our wayfaring temple. Because I could always just splitting image the wayfaring temple. And then I could just populate the Wayfaring Temple. You see where I'm going with this? This is my thing. This is my jam. Ooh, I, or I actually I'll probably just cackling counterpart the Wayfaring Temple. Temple de la Wayfaring. Hey, don't you go donating nothing to me. I don't like no handouts. Okay, I like handouts. I'm lying. Hey, uh, King Binker. You have absolutely no vowels in your name. I would have definitely bought vowels while I was making that name. And seeing as Cackling Counterpart is an instant, we can, uh, wait until he deals damage to uh, populate or to calculate counterpart the wayfaring temple <sighs> hey secure tribe builder what are you doing over there you silly This is a cool card. It's weird that it's only a common too. I mean, it's not like the greatest effect, but usually stuff like this. I mean, it's free. It's a free effect that gains life. And generates mana. Alright, Kalia. Looking at you, bitch. Should I make my own Kalia? No, that'd be dumb. Pocket sand. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, play what you want. We will play this Tundra. And we're going to attack Kalia player. Go ahead and block. Cackling counterpart. Ooh. 
Okay. Yeah, building around a theme is definitely fun. This is gonna get out of control really fucking quick. Three wayfaring temples, two of them being tokens. Uh, I can get three next turn if they all connect. Rock around the clock tonight. Gonna rock around till broad daylight. Rock around the clock tonight. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player exiles a card at random from his or her hand. The player may play that card this turn at the beginning of the next end step. Hasn't played that card here, she puts it into his or her graveyard. Well, shit. What a dick card. It's a world enchantment. You don't see those very often. Because there aren't very many of them. So, um... At AV Pilon's instep, I will definitely be sundering growthing the uh, Elkin Lair. Elkin. It looks like they're eating dinner inside of a heart. Inside of a big, delicious heart. So it looks like Satan Pulley is playing a very satanic deck of uh, just punishing everyone. Well, that seems kind of mean. Oops, sorry about that. Stupid preview pains. Oh, while everyone's in here, there is a new three commanders for you pick the commander. So be sure to vote in the chat. I will tally that shit up. And, uh, does your Glissa run Concordant Crossroads? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll be sure to tally that up and you guys will be able to, uh, exiled Revelor. Okay. You guys will be able to... Uh, pretty much pick who I get to play for like the next week. Jalira kind of sucked. Did not enjoy Jalira. You know what? I didn't even realize that I had this still minimized. There we go. Arun. Arun, Arun, Arun. Arun, Arun. I'm surprised he's gonna let his Revlark go to the graveyard. Why did you expand my graveyard? That's weird. <laughs> oh, the abyss. Okay. I just guessed Concordant Crossroads because, you know, hate, everyone having haste for one, Some a lot of green plays it when they don't have access to the raid. The end of Temtisteep. Okay. Silence! Oh ho ho! Shots fired! Your opponents can't cast spells this turn. Whoo! Then we're going to Sundering Growth right now. Getting rid of that. And populating another Wayfarer's Temple! Wayfaring Temple. 
I've never made a pinging uh, commander. No, I haven't. But it could be good, like ping with like uh, the nightshade peddler, among other things that give death touch. Ping is pretty strong. Around the clock tonight. So AV is the one who played silence. That's kind of weird. Let's see what stupid nut shit he gets now. That was a dirty deck, by the way. Uh, ooh, Searing Spear. Okay. Um... Tyler. That was a pretty... I enjoyed that deck. Garza's Soul. Yeah, that one definitely brings back memories. Ooh, what's he going to... Uh, Oblivion Ring? Karametra? One of the tokens... Okay. All you're doing is protecting my wrath. He's going to attack, and I am totes going to steal uh, or copy whatever he does. What's he going to put into play? Because I'm totes going to copy it. And then I'm going to... Uh, Populate it over and over and over. <laughs> Waiting for AV Pilon to finish looking at AV Pilon's hand. What is this? Uh, do I want to copy that? I think I might. Yeah, Nicobolus is incredibly mean too. Take my two damage off of rivalry because I still have the most car or most lands. Polluted Delta. Yeah, let's throw you down there. And you know what? We are going to copy that demon. Because we can populate the fuck out of it. One, two, five. Okay. Green. Copy this demon and then populate the shit out of it. <laughs> that's a good that's a good quality to have. I guess my biggest problem is I'm just too damn nice. Alright, three triggers. Not bad at all. Get those demons. Get those demons. I just need wrists. I also have a def uh, defense against his flyers now. 
Like, he's a lot less likely to swing at me. And I can always recast Spinning Image. Garza's Soul is a pretty cool commander to build around anyways though because you kind of get originality points. The guy that makes cool decks. So that's pretty good for you, Teaser. And hello by the way, I didn't say hello. Same for you, Don Man. Welcome to the stream. Anyone else that I haven't seen pop in? I'm glad that you guys are here. Ooh, Anvil of the Garden. Hey guys! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of did. I guess I'm just a free spirit like that. One of my biggest flaws. Rare but cool commanders that aren't played much. Um, well, if you look in my list of commanders that you can vote for, which you guys should totally vote for, uh, I've got... One of the ones that you don't see very often is Balthor the Defiled. He is pretty cool. Uh, another one you don't see very often, you see more than Balthor though, is um, Hazazon for Naya. Uh, Rasputin, really cool one. I like Rasputin. And Rasputin can get really fucking out of control. If you don't keep his ass on a uh, check. What's funny is if I Hour of Reckoning right now, I destroy zero of my own creatures. Rampaging Bailiffs. Well, we know he's not going to be wrathing. That leaves AVP Lon to wrath the board. Will he have it? I hope to fuck not. It's always such an awkward combo playing the landfall creatures with Karamecha. You really wish that these uh, hit the board. But that could be so fucking broken. Do a dollop of daisy. Do a dollop of daisy. Do, do a dollop of daisy. So, are you guys going to be playing FNM tomorrow? What format are you going to be playing if you plan on going to FNM? I totally plan on going and just playing some uh, Commander Free For All. You know, for fun, not for uh, packs or nothing. I've been neglecting the card shop for far too long and I really want to go see my friends and play some cards and talk to people who aren't just on a computer screen. No offense! I love all of you guys, but it gets a little lonely. Yeah, Brian Stoutarm flinging creatures, definitely uh, pretty sweet. Uh, I'll tote sack. I'll totally sack. So that you don't draw another card. I'll sack one of these flying guys. Crazy, right? Kind of a free spirit. Just kind of crazy like that. Hey, Teaser. Thanks for following. Always appreciated. Uh, you are definitely more awesome now for following this Gear Bear. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate the support. Oh, 
Or ma'am, if you're a, w a woman. Uh, yeah, yeah. The only reason I'm, uh, I, I say F and M, it's easier. It's still Friday Night Magic, even if you are just playing Commander with your buds, your chums, your pals, your scallywags. Compadres, partners. Yo, say! Does he have a sack outlet? I'm surprised he didn't just trigger it in. Counter the fuck out of it. You go, Satan. Oh, damn. Who's he giving it to? AVP one. <laughs> you person of some unknown gym gender. Well, now, even if I wipe the board. He will make it so I can't untap. But no one would have any creatures left. He would have a beast left. That's it. Do a dollop of daisy. Okay. What's he gonna pop out? Little Miss Autopilot Kalia? I have a great dislike for Kalia. Ooh, Platinum Angel. Well, let's see. We are going to target Satan Pulley with all of our uh, demon triggers because I don't think he's going to want to get rid of uh, of Zidru. And I don't think he wants to play um, pay the life either. The most no annoying deck I've played against... Hmm... I don't even know, honestly. Um, like I said, I hate Kalia. See, most annoying. Anything where they uh, are pride, they have like this great sense of pride that all they play are counter spells and bounce. That's annoying as shit. If that's all you play, uh, yeah, you're not looking to have fun at all. Uh, we don't need nature's lore. Nah. Okay, so what do we do in this situation? He can tap down five creatures. I could destroy everything. I could recast Spitting Image. I do not have a male deck. And welcome, Sewer Man. Thanks for joining the stream. Glad to meet you. I play mono blue as well, but I don't play it like in dickhole. Believe it or not. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna play the uh, our. We're not gonna play growing ranks. We're not gonna play splitting image. We're not gonna play stolen identity. Um, let's go ahead and just swing out at AVP line. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Ace. Uh, those are some very annoying autopilot decks. Y 
You gain no love from me, AVP line. Yeah, I plan on copying Rampaging Bayliths here soon. But I, I'm going to probably wipe the board before that happens. I have yet to counter, uh, cast Rune at all. No counters on Rune. And welcome, Mana Killer. Glad that you're here. We can chill out, be bros. I already feel so close to you. Oh yeah, not targeting yet. I could have also made a shitload of Yose uh, tokens. Ooh man, that would have been a dickhead move. Maybe I should have done that. <laughs> yeah, EDH. What? What? And thanks for subbing, Mana Killer. I always appreciate the uh, support. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. Let's see, what did he hit? He hit my creatures and the polluted delta. Do I even give a fuck? No, all that is okay. Because we are just going to make more. Like some kind of asshole. Alright. Uh, yeah. Muzio, he's kind of like more of a fair uh, Arkham Daxon, though, I feel. But that's just me. Hey, Million. Awesome for following. Thanks. I really appreciate the support. You rock, bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Let's see. Do we wipe the board? We don't even give a fuck now. We're mostly go not going to be ta untapping next turn. We're going to keep the planes in our hand. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and uh, get this other populate thing out. Let's grow those ranks. Because this hasn't been stupid enough already. You know, I think I need Nelia in this deck. For the uh, getting the damage across with Trample. Uh, he's exiled, Zephy, Zephyr. Uh, it's really fucking, oh, well, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> we barely knew ye. Uh, yeah, he's exiled. It's really dumb, because he's actually under this Oblivion ring. And, uh, MTGO is a quality product. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, hey, and thanks for joining us on the stream, man. Good question, though. Yeah, it's stupid. I don't know why they exile it like that. For some reason, when things get exiled but can have the ability to return, they uh, get randomly put on the board. It doesn't fucking make any sense. Alright, good thing we saved that planes because we can just copy something else now when it comes out. Yeah, listen to Ace. He super aces about this shit. 
At the beginning of your end step, target opponent gains control of Jinx Choker and puts a charge counter on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, Jinx Choker deals damage to you equal to the number of charge. Put a charge counter on Jinx or remove one from it. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, this is just totally a chaos hate deck. Dot com. Too bad I don't have one more available mana to uh, exile the Oblivion Ring and just get that Wayfaring Temple back and start the process like all over again with the populating. Ah, uh, sorry, Sewer Man. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Ooh, I have definitely drawn some hate. Oh well. What you gonna do about it, bruh? The most flavorful deck I have made has probably... What do you mean by flavor, exactly? Do you mean tribal? Or do you mean, uh, like, there's a theme beyond tribal? Because that makes a big difference. Come on, play something meaty for me to copy. Ooh, Sun Titan. That's definitely meaty. Yeah, Sun Titan. Thanks, bro. What can you grab back? The Fairhaven Elf? Tribe Elder? Okay, I'm totes getting me a Sun Titan. Let's see, theme beyond tribal. Um, probably one of the more flavorful then that's not tribal uh, would be my Aetherios deck. <laughs> it's some Borg, thanks for joining us. But uh, probably my Aetherios deck because it is a um, straight up protection deck. I have a majority of the creatures have protection from colors or creatures or something or they have flying or vigilance you know things that make it hard to harder to deal with them so uh, I definitely think that it would be um, my Aetherios deck if I go for flavor It's a lot of fun, though. And I built it just to kind of be like a goof deck, and it ended up being really fucking good. We got Kalia coming back. Should call you later. Oh, we got the Ever-Flowing Chalice. I could just keep fucking with this guy and, like, exile that in Oblivion Ring. <laughs> it can be White-Black Burn deck. Uh, it can be so much more. Do you wish to add counters? No. I have nothing to populate. Ooh, Riss. Holy shit. Uh, let's discard the Wall of Reckoning, or Wall of Blossoms. Yeah. Wait. Why didn't my shit untapped? Oh, I skipped my untapped phase. That's right. Fuck. Gare Bear F's himself again. Oh, Lord. Well, at least I get to give away this Jinx Choker. Hmm. It's not even worth playing the planes. Basically, this is just skip Gare Bear's turn. Excuse me. Skip that bitch. Haha. 
Let's give this to uh, Satan. <laughs> Here, Satan, I got you a gift. But shit, I meant to send it to Santa. Oh no! I think I forgot to thank Ace for uh, following as well. So thanks Ace! Also awesome. Avender? Who the fuck is Avender? Why are you telling me that? I don't know you! Satan... everything? Yeah, I don't know you. You're not my friend. Stop pretending like you are. So, uh, teaser, then, um, what's the most flavorful deck you have played? Tribal? Not tribal? Let's say that your only flavor is to destroy enchantments. What was the most flavorful for all of you? Most leaving first. And I appreciate that. I hope uh, Temptus Heap gives it back. Hey, I don't have the most, uh, I don't have the most lands anymore. Yeah, it can become that way. Um, I What I use it more is just the recursion. Uh, I don't even use it for the burn. Like, 9 times out of 10, if you get them below 20 life, you can just keep letting uh, Solemn Simulacrum die and target the guy below 20 life, and they will just keep giving it back to you. And I enjoy that. All to Solemn's. All to time. My itchy little mustache. <sighs> so for those of you that are going to be... Oh wait, no, i got to wait for you guys to answer the uh, other thing. Uh, I almost started a different topic. Silly gay bear. Ooh, archetype of endurance. So I can't copy his shit anymore, damn it. Damn it to hell. I really wanted that Sun Titan. For the love of God, I wanted Sun Titan so bad. Take it easy, Tyler. <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm not too big of a fan of Zedru, so I don't see Zedru popping up anytime soon. <laughs> Enchant it, tribal. Ah. Oh, <laughs> uh, Daxos. The guy that I wish... Uh, like, I like Daxos a lot. People are getting tired of Satan's shit. What's, that's not even new. Planner cleansing dot deck. <laughs> yeah, you do hug people with Zedru, but those hugs are very rapey. They're like the hugs you get in prison. You don't want those hugs. You don't want those hugs at all. They're painful. <sighs> rapey hugs. Dot deck.
<laughs> or what's the uh, what's the creature that when you have it on the battlefield you can't cast creature spells? Can't I can never remember his name either. That's one that Zedru often likes to donate. Italian sub. Personal experience on the prison hugs? I don't know. I'm not going to kiss and tell another man in my same bunk. Steel Golem. That's the one. Slate of Ancestry. Discard your hand. Draw a card for each creature control. Yeah, Steel Golem. That's the one. Exhum! I don't have anything. Wait, I have a secure tribe elder. Haha. <laughs> Take that, sucker. Secure tribe elder. Up in Jesus. Hasn't he learned that I'm just gonna copy the fuck out of it? Is he gonna grab Yose? If he grabs Yose, oh my god. If he grabs Yose, I'm going to copy Yose and then I'm just gonna clone the fuck out of it. Do I test... What do you mean, do I test it? Because that sounds amazing. That's God's dot deck. <laughs> Those lips make me a little nervous, Million. Just saying. Oh, you got the uh, can't lose. Okay. <laughs> Metal teabagging. Who's your commander, uh, Sumborg? Who's your commander with the uh, Boros warrior theme? Warrior soldier theme. Because I enjoy Boros commanders. They are really hard to build around, but they can be pretty powerful sometimes. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave our secure tribe elder out. We might need him to revive us. Augur's Co. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, let's see. What do we discard? We're going to keep this Wrath for sure. It might be a good time to Wrath anyways. Let's get rid of this... Uh, planes? Yeah, let's get rid of the planes. See, blue's tapped out, mostly. You could still counter it. Okay. Mm, yeah, let's go ahead and search for something. Hey, Superman, thanks for following. It's awesome. Really, really love all of the love that I'm getting right now. Uh, the only deck that I have that plays a lot of gods is Progenitus. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, um... Yeah, we're gonna Wrath. Three, four, five, six, seven... Wrath the board. I don't mind Child of Alara myself. Uh, Child of Alara has some hardcore... Um, hardcore requirements, like... <laughs> all 17 people? What about all 17 people? You guys are still awesome. 
But uh, Child of Lara has some hardcore requirements to make her good. Like the fact that you have to let it actually hit the graveyard. Are you going to counter it? <laughs> I don't mind uh, Child of Lara myself. Keeps games under control, kinda. <laughs> Everyone's got their uh, likes and dislikes, that's for sure. <laughs> Mana ramp is nice. That's what she said. <laughs> Satan's going to just kill himself with the jinx choker. Yeah, Olara can definitely shut down any kind of, like, aggro theme. That is true. I'll give you that. If I was playing a, a uh, turn em sideways deck, I don't think I would want to sit across the table from Olara. Ugin's Nexus in the graveyard. Storm Herd. <laughs> I bet you wish you would have had that storm heard out now. Unless you're playing Malek. Yeah, mana rocks, losing your mana rocks to a uh, child definitely sucks as well. But you could also play Trickbind. Are you fucking... Ah, god damn it, I hate that. Fuck that card. Well, I'm getting back Wafer Temple. Choose a player and that player gains control. I feel like not even playing this anymore. <sighs> yeah, I fucking hate scramble verse. It looks like I got back. Oh, it doesn't do lands. Okay. Wow. AVP line kind of made out like a bandit. <laughs> Thieves auction, yeah, much worse, but still just not fun. I fucking can't stand scramble verse. You know, you put a lot of time into building your deck a certain way, and then it's just uh, kind of completely fucked over. Pretty cool, this card. Not, not really. Not cool at all. <laughs> well, Temptus Heap, uh, still has the most cards. Most lands. Alright, someone needs to play something big so I can steal it to make a copy.
Wow, we lost all of our viewers. That's sad. Oh well. <laughs> all the important ones are still here. <laughs> <laughs> That's true about a lot of cards uh, in paper versus non-paper. Oh, Vorinclex. Yep, I'm copying that. That's gonna be my Vorinclex. I'm totally going to copy that more and clicks. Can't wait. Why couldn't have I have gotten the token? It doesn't matter. He's got this now. Damn. What are you doing, Wayfaring Temple? Um, I, no, it depends, for me, it really depends on the uh, CMC, it also depends on if I'm a late game versus early game commander deck, uh, I usually start out right around the 38 to 36 slot, and uh, I usually run about between uh, probably 6 to 10 different kind of mana ramp uh, versus mana rocks, all that shit. So, um, no, I don't really follow any formula. I paved my own path because I'm a badass. <laughs> with mail you kind of get the uh a bit of a advantage because a lot of people won't target you <laughs> oh, I love to creep in. Decree of Pain is a great card. So much value. Ace has got it right there. Yep. I, I don't follow. Like I said, I just kind of evaluate what I need. Aw, uh, you don't like me. Why don't you like me, AVP Lon? I thought we were BFFs forever and ever. I'm not running any 10 ticket decks, no. I'm a bit of a snob, I guess. <laughs> I think it's time to pop this polluted delta. So you have white, 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 white. Let's go, let's grab something that generates blue. This breeding pool should suffice. New. No. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, those mana bases, though. Ooh, duplicate. Ooh, bane of progress. Shit. Um, let's get rid of the lantern. We have fixed our mana pretty well. Let's cast this uh, splitting image. Retrace for yeah, sure. Copying that. Green. Um. Green, green. We don't really need white, do we? And we'll have six left. <laughs> I have the cheap fetches. Tricky, tricky. All right, we have our own Vorinclex. Hell yeah. Now, would the right thing to do be play duplicate and uh, exile this Vorinclex? I mean, that means I don't untap any land this turn, next turn. I still think it might be the right thing to do. Um, yeah, he's got, uh, he's got way too much mana. Hey, what the hell? That was weird. Duplicant the Vornclex. Yeah, those are pretty good replacements for uh, mana filtering and what the like. <laughs> That's definitely the route I would go if I was going to do the uh, the cheap, the save the money route. Yeah, also being able to shuffle the library. If you're going to play uh, Sensei's Top, you probably want to be playing the uh, Fetch Lands. Feel good spells like Scrambleverse. Me and you have different definitions for feeling good. Is your idea of an orgasm hitting yourself in the balls with a hammer? Feel good. Oh fuck, what's the Cyclonic Rifting? Okay. Well that sucks. Oh well. We got to get rid of one of the duplicates. I know you were being sarcastic. God. So sensitive this guy. Yeah, I can't stand playing against Chaos either, Ghost. Like... Uh, like I was saying earlier, you build your deck to play a certain way, and then someone just completely, like, undoes that.
It might be time to drop the band of progress. Not next turn, because I can't. But maybe the turn after that? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. I like Chaos Warp. Chaos Warp's not a Chaos card, though. I'm talking about more like the decks where their whole idea is to uh, fuck with the way you built your own deck. <laughs> oh, that guy is about to beat the shit out of that nerd. <laughs> Suck it, nerd. Uh, nerd. <laughs> What's the other one? Uh, I think it's a five drop that you exile all permanents or whatever and then reveal the top and put all permanents revealed that way into play. Scramble verse? No, not scramble verse. What? I can't even think of it. And Homeward Path only does uh, creatures. Homeward Path doesn't hit um, all of the stuff that, you know, gets fucked up by chaos that's non-creature. Alright, Zedru's back. <laughs> Let's see for how long. It's getting pretty close to where the jinxed choker could... Uh, Kill AVP line. Warp World, that's the one. Warp World. Fucking Warp World. <laughs> Warp World can just completely wreck any kind of uh, control game. Hori Colossus. What am I missing out on over here? Enters the battlefield, put target creature onto its owner's library. Nth from the top. Nth is the number of stuff. Holy fuck. Sorry, Zedru. See ya. Whims of Fate. Starting with you, each player separates. Yeah, Whims of Fate. Yeah. That's the one where you put all of your shit into one pile. And, uh, if you lose all your shit, you just scoop anyways <laughs> to hell with it. Hey, Magical Hacker, thanks for following. You are awesome. You are now part of the Gear Bear Squad. Uh, that's Memory Jar. I like Memory Jar. That's not a Chaos card. That's usually a combo piece. You know, I've never seen this card. This is interesting. That is really cool art, too. Why are you coming at... I can block. That's weird. I feel like I shouldn't block, but I'm gonna... What else am I gonna do? I got nothing. True ghost, I never thought of that. I don't think I've ever seen Cloyster. Are you gonna... That was weird. Why did he attack into Duplicant?
Oh, wow, Million. You uh, probably also kick puppies in the face. Divine Verdict. Destroy target attacking or blocking creature. Okay. That's a good one. Um, Let's see. What do we get rid of? Hmm. Sok you know, I think... I'm mean, actually... We have a first removal. Sakashima's student. Or Sakashima the imposter should probably come out of this. It doesn't work too well with uh, the stuff that clones because it keeps its name. And then we just uh, pretty much F6 because there's nothing else I can do. <laughs> that was a good turn. Oh, yeah, with Teferi's puzzle box. That's pretty a uh, good way to fucking tuck that shit. I feel so unprotected. Holy shit, Satan Pulley is getting wrecked. Font of Mythos, please let me draw some more cards. Are you talking about um, Cyclonic Rift Ghost? Why that one hasn't been uh, banned? <laughs> yeah, Cyclonic Rift definitely can shut down a board state, but that does not change my hate for it. It's one of the few cards I auto-include in just about every blue deck, but it's because you're going to face it in just about every blue deck. It's also kind of dirty that you can play it in Tiny Leaders. <laughs> Um, I would probably be on a different boat. It's one of the cards I use uh, extensively that I th still think probably should be banned. There's other ways of doing the same thing that are less broken. Not exactly the same thing, though. Like, close to the same thing. Wait, is it is it banned in tiny leaders? I don't even know. Mystifying maze. Mystifying maze. He gets another trigger with it. 
Reclamation Sage, destroying Font of Mythos? Please don't destroy Font of Mythos, you jerk face. Jerk face m sucky suck. It's not banned in tiny leaders? Damn. Oh, the overflowing chalice. Okay. Alright. Gotcha. I don't know why you got rid of that one. Like, he's got zero cards in hand. I think there's other things worth getting rid of. Like, the thing dealing a shitload of damage to you all the time. This thing. Tooth and nail for a shitload. Oh, what's it gonna be, sir? What's it gonna be? Uh, is it gonna be fucking Terestodon? Is that what he already picked? Reveals Terestodon. Damn. Don't hit any land. You jerk. Karmic Guide and Terestodon. You're gonna hit Archetype of Endurance. I'm sure. No, you're gonna hit... Yeah, Archetype of Endurance. Okay, that, that, and that. Really? Hmm. Weird. Giving everyone tokens. And then you're getting Revelark? That's weird. I'm not the only one who thinks that's weird, am I? Because that's weird. What does choke do? Oh, shit. <laughs> and then they play uh, Stormtide Leviathan. <laughs> Alright, so now I get to just clone the fuck out of Terestodon? Holy balls. Really, Mana Flare? Holy shit. That opened up so many possibilities. Yeah, that really did open up a shitload of possibilities. It's like that miasma. Let's see here. What can I bring back with an angel? Nothing. So, do I just hit this a few times? So I think I just bane a progress. AVP is down to uh, one. Crazy. All right, I'll take that seven.
Um, let's see here. He's got the mystifying maze still, but I'm not going to be able to attack him yet. So let's just let that die. And then we'll draw a couple more cards. Hell yeah! The O ring has Wayfaring Temple. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, what? What a jerk. Okay. Well, I get my Wayfaring Temple back. Why would I cast a Zagana first? Pretty sure it's going to be Bane first. And then I probably write of replication the uh, this dude. Actually, I can't even do that now because the dude left. I don't think I'm going to blow up the board because that gives them a shitload of uh, of tokens to kill me with. I think what I do is write a replication the Cory Colossus and sink everything by one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cast with kicker. Copying the Colossus. Let's get rid of see we need this to come off last so we'll target her last so that 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 and that <laughs> It'd be funny if I had the chance to uh, throw down Risk the Redeemed and activate it in the same turn. Get a, even more copies of all these. Let's give it back to Satan. Thanks for letting me borrow it, Satan. <laughs> Battle Cruiser EDH. <laughs> yeah, a lot slower. Uh, get the fat things out. Like they they like playing like uh, Timmy decks. You know they like a lot of big creatures. They like a lot of not much happening. Holy shit, I just realized that uh, Revelark can kill me if I get the Jinxed Choker. Hmm. If I destroy the Jinxed Choker with, uh, with the counters on it, like on my upkeep with the ability on the stack well I take all of the damage that had the counters on it <laughs> this is a new deck Josh 
This is uh, populate to tokens, but it's, you know, populate these tokens. Tokens made by shit like that. And, uh, you know, that. And, you know, all the fun shit. But I feel like I'm going to lose to Jinx Choker. <laughs> Mouse from Wanderer. Constantly ending friendships. So yeah, do I have to... What would happen then? Hmm. I feel like it would still deal damage equal to me, uh, equal to the remembered number of charge counters on it. Even if it wasn't on the battlefield anymore. I don't think Crows and Grip would even do it either. Because it still is on the stack. Woodfall Primus. Aww. <laughs> Psychic Surgery is such a fun, goofy card. Uh, Soul's Majesty on Woodfall Primus. Okay, so draw a shitload of cards. Uh, no, I do not have an active authority. It's usually an auto-include in a lot of white decks. Um, yeah, I just probably skimmed over it when I was building. Oh, shit, I won't die. Because this is going to be exiled. Ho oh, ho, I think you just gave me the game, buddy. That was weird. Aura of Silence. Hmm. Alrighty, so what do we do now? Draw a shitload of cards with the Zagana? Nah. That's too easy. <laughs> um... You know, let's go ahead and swing in with everyone. Yeah, that gives me the game. Yeah, I'm not sure why he did that. <laughs> yeah, woo! Get back at the game! All right, that was fun. The EDH decks I have are, uh, I have five color something, which is progenitus, uh, lots of enchantments. I have Anafenza, tribal humans, Animar, which is, I don't really play online. 